If you're interested in making a rug for the first time or if you've made rugs before but you're looking to try a different method, you pretty much have three options. You have fully manual tools, you have semi-manual tools and you have fully electronic tools. But obviously the question is which one is the best for you and your needs. Since I don't know you all individually, I'm just going to break it down into the different parts that make up each tool including price, availability, speed of use, ease of use and once you have all the information then you can pretty much make the best decision for you and your needs. So right now I have the three best options in front of me. Starting with the manual tool, you've got a punch needle. The punch needle comes in as the cheapest option. You can get them from between six to $24. And in terms of availability, you can actually get them on Amazon, which means that they're very easy to find. I usually like to go for the adjustable version only because it gives you different depths that you can use, which means that you can achieve different textures. And also because it's an all in one different sizes, it saves you a bit of money because if you want to do something different, you don't have to go out and then buy another punch needle, keeping it as the affordable option. The next option is a semi-manual tool for this I have the Danella tool now even though this is technically the mid-range I think it still kind of runs a little bit expensive you can get a Danella tool for about 180 pounds which is what I paid for this hi it's me a dummy I just realized that I said it was 180 but actually it's between 65 and 100 pounds which is probably about 120 dollars so yeah mistakes in terms of availability as well these are actually quite rare i think because most of the time manufacturers will rather go for these two options it is kind of hard to find these and they are relatively expensive the third option is the tufting gun tufting guns come in two different options so you can get the all-in-one which is what i've got here and that will do cut pile and loop pile and you can also get the ones which are individual and they're the blue ones with those you can do either one that's cut pile or one that's loop and it'll be a bit cheaper as well this one comes in at between 200 and 350 $50. Euphoric Supply, who also has a YouTube channel, he sells these on his website, imakerugs.com. And if you use code CORRIGO, you can actually get a 5% discount. So now that we know the different options, the next thing we want to do is see how they actually work in practice. But just before we do that, I want to introduce a sponsor for this video, Skillshare. On Skillshare, you'll find an extensive range of classes covering a whole bunch of creative topics like drawing, painting, and crafting. I get a lot of comments on my videos about how to find your art style. And while I was looking at Skillshare, I found this fantastic video by Andy J Pizza called Find Your Style, Five Exercises to Unlock Your Creative Identity. As you can tell just from the visuals of what he's doing, he has a fantastic way of making the subject come to life. It's perfect for anyone who's trying to find their own visual language. My favorite thing about Skillshare is that they have a very curated and specific learning experience, meaning that there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, which means that you can stay 100% focused on whatever it is that you want to learn. An annual subscription to Skillshare is less than $10 a month and the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Okay, so starting out with the punch needle, you'll see it's a basic design. It's basically a tube with a giant hole in the middle of it and it's got a little hole at the top and then a larger one. And this is basically where you thread through your yarn which you're about to use. This is a wooden punch needle and doesn't extend like the one that I've shown you but this one also is a useful option. So all you need to do is thread the filament through the hole and then you get your yarn and push it through the filament and then once you've done that you can actually pull it back through and that's pretty much how you thread it. Some people thread it through the large hole and then through the small hole. Separately I like to do them both at the same time just because it saves a whole bunch of time. All you do is push it through the monk's cloth which is the material that I'm using and then you start punching in the direction that the sharp tip is facing with the hole facing at the top. This is the Danella tool. It's basically like a miniature sewing machine if that makes any sense. What you do is the same thing. You put the filament through the top of it in the little hole and then you put the yarn through and then pull it through again. Very simple process and very easy. And then to actually start using it you just turn the crank and hold the Danella tool in a direction that you're willing to go into and it will make a line of wool thread. Um, you're not able to adjust the heights that you can with the adjustable punch needle. And it is quite tricky because it does get stuck at certain places in the way that the punch needle doesn't necessarily do it because you want to set track and the material that you're using has certain holes that are meant to go through for the punch needle. So it can be a bit more difficult. But then once you're done, you have to make sure that you cut it off because it doesn't have a cutting mechanism like the tufting gun. Finally, for the tufting gun, you're doing the same thing. You're just pulling it through the filament, but this time you've got two holes to go through. You go through the guard, and then you go through the punch at the bottom. Holding it steady, you wanna make sure that you're holding it with the arm and only turning the body rather than the arm, because that means that you're gonna hold it very firm while you're tufting. Also, you wanna tuft in bursts, because if you do it all in one line, it's kinda of hard to get the key details in that you need. 
Finally, we wanna do a speed test. So we just wanna know which one actually takes the least amount of time to make a rug. So I'm gonna draw a line on my monk's cloth behind me that's about 20 inches long. And we're gonna see which one takes the least amount of time to do it. So once again, I'm starting off with the punch needle. I have sped up this footage by 600% just cause I don't want you to actually have to sit here and watch me do this the whole time. But as I'm sure you can already tell, it's a relatively slow process and you have to adjust quite a few times as you're going up. And you'll see this took me about one minute and 30 seconds, just a little bit over, not including obviously the time it took me to press the timer. Now I'm gonna move on to the Danella tool. This is admittedly a lot faster than the punch needle. I sped this up by 300%. I would say it's about three times faster than the punch needle, just from my experience. But obviously for this line, it took about just over 30 seconds, not including the time that it took me to pick up the timer. And finally, for the tufting gun, I actually didn't need to speed up this part of the footage because it moves so fast. And as you actually see, this one managed to finish in 10 seconds. Just to give that speed difference a bit of context, a rug this size with a tufting gun took me about three days to complete. A rug this size with the Danella tool also took me about three to four days to complete. And something this size with a punch needle will probably take me about a week of solid work. So that pretty much lets you know the time difference. So in conclusion, now that you have all the information, pretty much you need to make a decision based on what you're gonna be using it for. If you're gonna be making large scale rugs and a lot of them, then I think it's definitely worth the investment to get the tufting gun. Like I said, there are cheaper options. If you're just doing it as a hobby and you just wanna make them maybe as gifts for people or something around the house, or you just want to get into a new craft, I would suggest doing the punch needle. The Danella tool is a weird cross section between almost as expensive as the tufting gun, but also almost as time consuming as the punch needle because you can't really make large projects with it. If it's something that you just want to pick up every once in a while and you know do a bit of tufting, then I would suggest the punch needle because also once again, very cost effective. For professionals, this, and for people who just want to do something, you know, a little bit extra, want to be a bit quirky, maybe get the Danella tool. Anyway, I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.